All righty. So for those of you that frequent TikTok and social media like Instagram have seen Narcity or any news outlet, know that Canada's Wonderland gets quite the negative reputation on those platforms for simple things that can go wrong or just simple things that happen in everyday theme park life. I'm going to explain to you guys a couple of those things, but here is some of the articles that I'm referencing. Alrighty, those pop up on the daily, and on top of those, you have regular users on TikTok also showcasing simple ride stops in such a negative way, and it spreads such propaganda fear amongst Canada's Wonderland's guests, it's spread to like even my hairdresser. The other day I was getting my hair cut and my hairdresser was like, how do you still go there? It's so dangerous. And of course, me being an enthusiast, I had to give her that whole 30 minute rant about how safe the rides actually are. And then I was on the Facebook page, a really popular Facebook page that covers Canada's Wonderland. It's actually a really great place, really great community. So I'm gonna showcase this right here. And this got me thinking, I think I need to make a video on this topic because I have quite the understanding on these things. Now, I'm going to give a really dumbed down version. Um, and yeah, a lot of people in recent news are kind of scared about the same thing happening at Canada's Wonderland. But I'm here to tell you that it is next to impossible for something like this to happen at a park like Canada's Wonderland. So um, for those of you that don't know, there might be a lot of new viewers watching this video right now. Uh, my channel covers construction, speculation, rumors, and just all things Canada's Wonderland. And sometimes North American parks like Carowinds where this little incident happened. Because of that, I have had the opportunity to have great sources, great communication with construction companies, welding companies, you name it. It's, it's in there. I have had such great opportunities to have these amazing conversations, learn new things, learn amazing things, and just expand already knowledge to even further develop my understanding of the roller coaster and theme park industry. So let's get into it. A park of Canada's Wonderland. Could this happen? I mean, yeah, obviously there's always a chance that something like this could possibly happen. It could happen to your car. It could happen to the airplane you're on. It could happen to the train you're on, um, on your way to work. It could happen to the structure you're sitting in, uh, working from the office, anything. It could happen to anything. Now, the chances of it happening are extremely low. I'll dumb this down for the everyday guests in this video, but essentially what goes into preventing anything like this happening at a Parkway like Canada's Wonderland is... Essentially, every morning at around 5, 6 a.m., a uh, maintenance crew will show up at a park like Canada's Wonderland, and they will do their maintenance checks. It usually involves the walk of an entire track uh, and support structure of a roller coaster, and they'll look for any anomalies. And when they find anomalies, which does happen on the frequent at every theme park, including Disney, Universal, Six Flags, Cedar Fair, all the jazz, they fix it. And this is a prime example of it. So the footage you're seeing on the screen right now was filmed in spring 2023. And a lot of the footage you're about to see was filmed in spring 2023. And I know my viewers who watch my channel can attest to that. What you're seeing right now is welding. So essentially uh, what they do is they go and uh, send a, sometimes a robot, uh, this little machine that moves along the track and it'll look for hairline fractures is a common word used in the amusement industry. And when they find hairline fractures, they'll weld it and fix it. This is extremely common. It happens in the CN Tower even, and office buildings, and trains, and airplanes, and anything steel structure-wise. This happens. And they fix it. And it prevents things like what you saw at Carowinds from occurring. And if you watch all of the footage from my Carowinds videos, you'll see that Wonderland does a really phenomenal job at taking care of their rides. In fact, it's pretty common for a park like Canada's Wonderland to completely deconstruct all of their rides and rebuild them. Um, every season. And sometimes, like rides like Clockworks, Swings of the Century, and Vortex will get extra care, um, tender love and care some off-seasons, and this off-season was one of those. So, 
I can really attest to you guys that Wonderland does take phenomenal care of their rides. So for something like this that you see on the screen to happen at Canada's Wonderland, it ain't gonna happen. I'm a hypochondriac myself, and I trust Wonderland and Cedar Fair with my safety. I really do. Uh, other parks, not so much. <laughs> I'm kidding. But honestly, you are safe at Canada's Wonderland. I, ca I can put my full backing behind that. Let's get into the articles and TikToks that you see on the daily from Narcity, BlogTO, regular news outlets, and again, TikTok. Well, the rides do stop. They stop every day, multiple times a day. They stop for very safe reasons. In fact, when you see the, those articles, those clickbait articles that are literally designed by those news outlets who have the answers as to why those rides stop because the park does reach out to those news outlets and try and explain what is going on and they refuse to put the answer in the article because it's quite boring actually. So let's get in to the boring. <laughs> in my video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about this extremely boring information as to why the rides are stopped. But it's gonna make you feel a lot safer at a park like Canada's Wonderland. And this is the answer for all amusement rides in the world. So you're at Canada's Wonderland, you're enjoying your day, you're with your family, you're with your friends, and you look up and Windseeker is stuck at the top. Skyhawk is stuck at the top. Leviathan is stuck on the lift hill. Behemoth is stuck on the lift hill. Yukon Striker is stuck on the brake run. You panic. You say, oh no, the rides are always broken at Canada's Wonderland. What could possibly be going wrong? They have no maintenance department here. They are not taking care of their rides. Well, that's the farthest from the truth. In fact, these rides at Canada's Wonderland and even the one at Carowinds where you saw the support structure completely break have safety redundancies built into them and designed into them for these to occur. As you saw, a support column completely cracked in half and the ride was perfectly fine in that current state and barely moving at that when the train is going through it at full speed. And when you see a ride again stopped at Canada's Wonderland, that is its safety feature working. Next time you're riding a ride at Wonderland or a roller coaster at Wonderland, I want you to look extra closely to the track and you're gonna see these little tiny green sensor boxes. That's almost like the membrane or the bloodstream of the roller coaster. It sends little signals to a computer system that's usually in the basement of these rides or somewhere next to the ride if it's a flat ride. And if anything, like a huge gust of wind, a bird, a speck of dust crosses the wrong laser beam, <laughs> these rides are gonna stop moving. It's designed that way. So a ride will stop moving when it thinks something could potentially be wrong, like a really windy gust of wind that could, you know, maybe move some of the rides parts a little more than it should, or maybe the rides are getting, the coaster trains are getting too close together for the computer system to feel comfortable. So it brings it to the stop, to a stop. It could also be as simple as a phone out. For a lot of you, you don't know this, but if Wonderland sees a phone out on the lift hill or the ride, they will stop the ride for your safety because phones do hurt. <laughs> if you're filming on a ride with a phone, I suggest you stop because the last thing you want is a phone hitting you at full speed on a ride like Behemoth Leviathan and Yukon Striker. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about why is the ride stop? Again, simple. Nothing's wrong. It's usually nothing wrong at all. It's usually just the sensor, sometimes confused, sometimes just if the ride's even running faster than it should, the ride will stop. And maintenance will come and they will clear the ride because 99% of the time there's nothing wrong and the ride will slowly move back into the station. And this can take sometimes from 5 to 15 minutes to 30 minutes. You know, they got to double check, make sure that the computer isn't telling them that something is severely wrong. And once they give the okay, the ride will start moving. You are in no danger. I promise you that. That's the boring answer for you guys. So next time you see those Narcity blog TO articles telling you that Wonderland's rides are always breaking and they're always stuck, yeah, that's just its computer system working. And that means the safety features are 100% working as well. I can actually promise you that Literally, there has never been a time where people have been in immediate danger at Canada's Wonderland on any of their rides. Wonderland has one of the best safety track records in the amusement industry. And on top of that, Wonderland's maintenance team is one of the best maintenance teams out there. I would 
actually argue that full heartedly. I know some people in the industry, I know some companies out there in the industry, and they have also expressed to me that Wonderland follows some of the highest standards in the industry when it comes to maintaining their steel structures and their rides. So I, for one, I'm going to keep riding them. And next time I see a ride stopped, I'm going to take the opportunity to maybe stand next to it, especially if it's a popular ride like Leviathan, and take advantage of the queue line that emptied out because it went down and get ready to ride. That's my advice for you guys. But hey, hopefully this video helped calm some nerves out there, and hopefully you feel a lot safer riding Wonderland's rides because I can promise you that is the safest park out there in North America, and it's going to continue to do so. Um... Anyways, I look forward to seeing you guys at Wonderland sometime soon, and hopefully this video did its job and calmed you down because, again, there's nothing to fret. If you have any questions, comment down below, and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability and get you some maybe more in-depth answers to some of your questions that you might have on Canada's Wonderland safety and maybe even just amusement and theme park safety as well. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.